Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And what have I for this video? Well, it's if you've seen in one of the previous videos, I forget which one it was now, I think it was the mystery box where I took out a few mystery boxes of stuff just to see what I had in the e-waste and this is one of the items that was in there. So as you can see, it's PCI cards or uh, PCM, PCMCIA cards, which essentially is just a modem that went into your... Um, into your PC or into yeah it was for PC this one was so that's the PC um expansion card so um as you can see I have quite a few so they're stacked all the way down there and all the way up here so first off might as well have a look at one and see what's contained inside the box so just get the knife and we'll remove the plastic there so again inside a little bit of plastic over this so remove that plastic put it in a box behind me for the moment until we deal with that later and then we have a little bit of cable which again will have some two little gold if I can zoom in there we go two little gold um, connectors in there. So that's on one side, and do we have a second? Side has some sort of other connections, and it looks like they are gold flash from what I can see. So we'll be cutting off the ends off them. Well, let's zoom back out. Boom. Well, not zoom out. Is it zoom out? I don't know. Um, then we have the card itself. And we have one of these little connectors. So again, with some gold pins in there, which we'll save up for working on again at a later date. And on the other side, there we go, some more gold flash pins. So that's what we get in the box. So this is the card. So I'm going to just put that aside for a minute. And then the rest of the box just contains more plastic, a little disc. So more plastic, a disc, two discs actually. So two discs, software discs, and a structure manual, quick start manual. So that's all that's in there. So I suppose to start off with, we might as well take everything apart, just take all the boxes apart, so might as well start doing that.
Okay, so now that I have uh, taken everything out, we have a lot of cable, a lot of these connectors, and these things. So, um, the connectors I'll talk about first because I'm really not going to do anything on this video on them. All I'm going to do off screen eventually is I'm going to cut off these ends. If I can focus, there we go. I'm going to cut off these ends and uh, throw the cable in with uh, my insulated copper wire. And these little connectors here, I'm going to um, just throw in a box. And at some stage, we'll do a video on just the ins and the connector pins and stuff like that from the likes of these sort of things. And uh, the main thing I'm going to be working on is um, these cards. And as you can see again, an awful lot of plastic used in all of these sort of things. Um, so a lot of waste plastic to be got rid of and stuff like that out of it. But um, That'll be sent for recycling any of the plastic cases, any of the plastic uh, plastic that was wrapped around in the cargo boxes, all that stuff will be sent for recycling. So before I get started, we might as well um, just buy magic um, that all the scrappers possess that we have a way of just uh, quickly clearing everything out. So I'm going to quickly use the uh, scrappers magic spell to um, get rid of all that stuff and we were just left with these. So on the count of three, one two so there it was just like that magic unfortunately that magic spell doesn't seem to work on getting my shed cleared out for some reason i've tried it loads of times it just will not work that way but that that works okay for small amounts of stuff so what am i going to do next next i'm going to take the pc cards or pc cards whatever you want to call them and what i have to remove is the outer shell so again um I'm going to remove them with a little flathead screwdriver of is the easiest way. But first of all, I'll just have a look at it. So just looking at the card itself, we have it's encased in like a stainless steel aluminium. I'll get a magnet later and we'll test them and see what they are. But and also has which looks like gold, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why they would put gold flashing there. But I'll treat it as if it is gold until we get an acid test on it. And um oh this fork is in. There we go. So um that's what we're going to do. We're going to treat it like it is thing. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to get a flathead screwdriver and I have to try and pry the case off. So all I'm looking for is somewhere just to stick the flathead screwdriver in underneath. If I can find a spot or in at the top here, maybe. It's um Somewhere there has to be an opening somewhere in them. They usually I have a funny feeling it's going to be back here if it's going to be anywhere. This will be the thing, or maybe we just bend the card actually. Never thought of that. There we go. Just bend it. So again, I'll test them later and see if they're stainless steel or aluminium. Feels like stainless steel, could be, might be just ferrous. And inside we have our board. So again, just bend it again and see can we get the plastic off it will it remove easy enough there we go so just a matter of maybe pulling it apart like that and again so that's the little bit of gold flashing so it's actually attached there so whether that is so more than likely that is going to be gold flashed um, because it is attached to the board so that might be the reason why they have a gold flashed so that'll be a nice little bit of gold found plus we have our board thing so i'm going to do that with every one of these again we have another bit of the gold flash in there so again i'm just going to also pull them off because we want every little bit that looks like gold flashing so i'll be, keep them separate um because still i can't figure out why and what's the use of them but there must be a reason so that's going to be straightforward to do it's just a matter of taking them out of the cases and then just bending them so it breaks the the actual casing itself pulling off the casing and removing the board again you could probably put the flathead screwdriver in underneath or something like that if you want to remove the board that way afterwards so it just goes in like that and pulls out the board and again you can see the actual flashing on there don't know why but it's there and again it's on this side as well 
so they'll be taken off so again by ooh, lost it on the floor we'll pick it up in a few minutes again by the magic of um of the scrapper i'm gonna do all in and they'll be all done when we come back and we won't have to watch me doing all that so one two okay guys so now i have removed all the uh, cards from the protective casings that was over them and this is the gold bits um, that i got from the the sides so you can see there we have them in there and um, again they look all right hopefully they are properly gold plated um, or gold flashed whichever so now next part is on the board you can see here we have chips and stuff which i'm not going to remove now um, the main things I'm going to remove, I'm going to take off this, I'll take off here because it's in this gold pins and I'll take out this um, copper spool that's inside of here, sorry about the shake guys, um, so I think that one really just pops out nearly like that, so it's straightforward to remove and I'll put them aside into another bucket, again it's not to do with the e-waste but I always keep them a little bit copper, it's easy enough hopefully to maybe just cut down along here and we might just make sure it is copper so yeah that's copper wire all the way through so again I'll break that off cut the wire and I'll take them off so I'm just going to do that push out them spools and um, I'm also going to remove these pins that are in here so again it's just a matter of putting a bit of force behind and you can see there we have all our gold flash pins uh, that are in there so i'm going to do that and again the same down here so again you can see the gold pins there so hopefully we just put the pliers over the plastic and there we go it just pulls off the plastic and leaves us with our our little gold pins so i'm going to do that to them all so again just so you can see again what i've done all I done was forced out that little bit of copper that's in there from the board. So that's it there. And again, we might slow that down or something so you can see. So because it goes so quick, I just pull that plastic cover that's over them pins. And we've got them pins exposed and the same down here and it's just a matter of removing that plastic and we're left with our three little gold flash pins and um, as you can see there is some nice mlccs on the board and um, and some chips on both sides so if i see chips on both sides and we've got the pins so i'm going to do the rest of these off camera because again no one wants to to see um me just pulling them off so i'll do it one more time just in case so again all i'm doing is pushing out the copper so that's the copper out and then i am getting a little viceress uh, pliers I'm just putting force on that, it comes apart. So we're left with a bit of plastic and we're left with these nice looking gold flash pins. And then on the other end, you can see here there's a bit of plastic. And underneath here, you can see the pins coming through, the gold pins. So again, if I zoom in a bit, well, there we go. So you can see the gold pins. All I'm doing is gripping this here and ooh, pulling away and we're left with our gold pins which will be straightforward to remove off so all i'm going to do when i do that is i'm just going to flick them like that a couple of times they become loose and i'm just going to put them into a little container in here with these well we'll take out that bit of plastic first and that other bit of plastic so we're left with some gold pens, a bit of plastic in there as well. And again, on this side of the side, same thing again, just going to 
pin back all these pins and do the same on this side and then we'll just twist them like that and what happens is eventually they'll just all fall down. I could use a heat gun and um, just heat the, heat the solder and it will also do the same thing but this will just work perfect for what I'm doing. Again I can do this while I'm watching a live stream or when I'm on a live stream or whatever. I can just do that with the pins and it's just a matter of things. So again if you wanted you could use the heat gun and the heat gun will loosen up all the solder and that will do it as well or you can just do this way that I'm doing it just loosen it anyway you can generate a bit of heat and that's it. So and you can see the pins will just fall off down into there and again if we miss any it's just a matter of pulling them off. You could also use the pliers just pull them off with the pliers any way you can get them off so you can see there's one left there that's some gone so nothing left there nothing left there and that's the pins gone off that so I'm going to do all them off camera you can see the nice little gold pins in there so I'm going to do them and uh, we'll come back once we've that done we'll see what sort of weights we got maybe what we got in gold pins and stuff like that so again by the magic of the scrappers spell uh, let's go and see what we got okay guys so I have um, removed all the pins but I also went and removed all the chips I went and got all these I've probably seen and all the MLCC's the large ones so that all I'm left with then is boards something like this so you can see there all cleaned off few MLCC's still left but they're the smaller ones um, so I can get them at a different date so let's just get a quick little weigh in done and see what we got off before I show you something else so we'll do a little bit of a zoom in and maybe another bit of a zoom in and okay and we'll zero so let's zero that Ooh, there we go zeroed and we'll start with the pins so <coughs> again um, they look fairly decent plated pins uh, you can see the gold on them but then you can see the uh, the metal the base metal underneath protruding from the end so as you can see we got 40 grams of the pins so again they'll all be I won't be processing just 40 grams when I do process them I'll be processing with other pins so that will be put in with the rest of the pins so let's see what we had in chips I suppose so again it's zeroed so the chips These few that fell out. Okay, so 173 grams of chips. Back in there. What did we get in these little gold plated connectors or ins or whatever they were? So again, they can be treated more or less the same way as I would the um, the pins. So we have uh, 12 grams. So again, not major, but we'll be putting with other stuff and we'll be all added together. And last but not least, the MLCCs. So these are some nice chunky MLCCs. So, so again, in that little bag, we have 52 grams of MLCCs. So overall, not too bad from um, scrapping them out. It's it's kind of just all adds up part of this big e-waste pickup. So it'll all add up in the end. Um, again, as I was saying, my average is, uh, is on a pound of sort of chips like that. I'm expecting to get at least a gram, maybe two grams, depending on uh, the quality of the chip itself. So you can work out there from the amount of grams I had or on the weight, what I should be expecting to get 
in the gold. So what is in them chips that I'm after, you may be asking. And a lot of people do ask that. So here's one that's kind of broken out. Sorry about the thing. Uh, make sure I return the right way for you guys. Let me get it up here in my hand. Yeah, we have it the right way. So we're gonna really zoom in on this. I hope the camera keeps in focus. So if you can see, uh, if I anything to point to it with, with the chisel. I know it's very minute and I have to find it again in my hand because I'm looking through the camera lens. Uh, sorry about the movement. Here we go. So you can see there at the tip, there's a line uh, that runs along. And you can just about see the gold protruding through it. So along that line there, over and up. So in there where that edge is, you can see gold pins or gold bonding wires just protruding from it. I should have left this down on something that wasn't moving. That wasn't my hand. Even though it doesn't look like my hand is shaking when it's up zoomed it is. But you can see that line there. That is gold pins or gold wires protruding out. And again, you have it over here. So, and them wires will go in along here. So each one of them wires on the outside is coming along, changing to a gold pin or a gold wire somewhere in here and then carrying on out and they were connect, collect, connecting to a little diode or whatever you want to call it yourself so they connected along the edge here and they all connected with gold wires so again where this meets here they all connect with gold wires so that's what I'm trying to get them little wires to come along there and when you burn it and you crush it you release them gold wires and um, then it's a matter of um, filtering them out and let's zoom back out we don't need to be zoomed in that much so there we go so that's why I collect up them chips and that's what I'm expecting to find again that's why you need a lot of them to get you can see how tiny they are and um, that's why the bigger the chip usually the bigger the wire not all the time um but mostly all them kind of chips have them so um so there's that that's the kind of chip i was working doing it on so you can see there it um has hundreds of them wires running around it so there'll be hundreds of them gold band wires inside so that's why i collect them guys so thanks for watching the video and um give it a thumbs up give it a like give it a share and we'll see you in the future. And in case you're wondering, this yoke here is a little thing I knocked up for when I'm taking the chips off here. So when they fly off, they just land in this timber frame and um, it keeps them in there. I can put sides up higher um, if I need to slot in different things. So again, it'll stop the chips from flying all over the place. So if I'm using the multi-tool or I'm using the chisel or whatever way I'm using it to get off the chips, as you'll see in future videos, you'll probably see me using this. Um, that's kind of what it is and um, knocked it up fairly quick and does the job. So guys, thanks for watching and um, catch you on the next one and keep on looking for that gold.